friends outside again. I don't have a mask on right now because if I wear a mask while I'm reading to you, you won't be able to understand me probably. And I am right outside the door of my house. I'm on my deck. But if you go outside, you are supposed to have a mask on. Let me show you my shirt. It's got one of my favorite movies on it. This is the Tin Man. He kind of looks like he's a cupcake. The brand is Johnny Cupcakes. But it's Tin Man from the movie The Wizard of Oz, which is one of my favorites. Anyway, we are talking about animal teeth. So what if you had animal teeth? We've heard about beaver teeth and about a narwhal's tusk and about elephant's tusk and great white shark teeth. And today we are reading about a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake's front teeth are called fangs. They're shaped like hooks and the tips are like needles. They fold up like a pocket knife when the snake closes its mouth and snap forward when it's wide open. Here's the fact, it's a blue circle on this page. When folded back, a rattlesnake's fangs slide inside fleshy covers. That way the needle tips don't nick the inside of the snake's mouth. If you had rattlesnake fangs, your front teeth would inject deadly venom. Venom is poison. So your teeth would be all you'd need to fight enemies or to catch food to eat. So when we look at the picture here, and you can look at the whole picture again, the real rattlesnake is over here, and here's what we would look like with fangs. You see these little droplets that are there, and also right here, and also right here? That's to show you the venom or poison that's in rattlesnake's fangs. So when it closes its mouth, it's able to um, kind of tuck its fangs in so they don't hurt itself and when it opens its mouth the fangs come out hmm tomorrow's animal teeth a naked mole rat oh my goodness just wait till you see this animal i hope you come back and watch the video so that you can see the animal Today's poem from Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein today is called Jimmy Jet and His TV Set. It's kind of a long one. I'll tell you the story of Jimmy Jet, and you know what I tell you is true. He loved to watch his TV set almost as much as you. He watched all day, he watched all night, till he grew pale and lean. Lean means really skinny. From the early show, to the late, late show and all the shows in between. He watched till his eyes were frozen wide and his bottom grew into his chair and his chin turned into a tuning dial. That's like a little knob you turn to, to change the channel on some old TVs. And antenna grew out of his hair and his brains turned into TV tubes and his face to a TV screen and two knobs saying vert, vertical, and horiz, horizontal, grew where his ears had been. And he grew a plug that looked like a tail. So we plugged in little Jim. And now instead of him watching TV, we all sit around and watch him. Oh my goodness, Jimmy Jet watched so much TV that he turned into one. Can you believe it? Wow. Hope you don't watch that much. Also, TVs have changed a lot since we have um, been using them and since this poem book has been written because this is not what my TV at home looks like. I hope you do some work. I hope you write some poems. But most of all, I hope you come back and watch the next video. Have a great day. Get some sun. I still miss you. Bye.